everyone, Maxine here from Sport and Wellbeing. I'm going to be taking you for a prenatal clip today and again it's going to be suitable for all trimesters. I'm going to be doing a little bit of work around the bottom, around the outside of the hip and through the legs. And again, if you have been told that you're not allowed to exercise or if you have any injuries, then please consult someone medical before joining in with me. So I want you to get some pillows. So you may need these in your last trimester. First two trimesters, you may not find that you're very big, so you don't need the support in the front that you would do in your last trimester. So I wanna make sure, because these are just short clips, I'm not including the warm up. So I wanna make sure that you are warm before you take part. So it's gonna be a work for the legs and the bottom. So we're gonna come into a clamshell position. So I want you to come down on your side and again, this is where you may need to have a little pillow underneath your bump. If you don't, that's fine, but everybody may need a little pillow just underneath their head down here. So I'm going to move those out of the way. So what I want you to do first of all is to have your knees stacked one on top of the other, your ankles stacked, and then I want you to put your hand just in front of you with your shoulder relaxed. Then I want you to engage that tight band around you and have that feeling of that little hollow area just underneath the waist. Then slowly, I just want you to lift the knee towards the ceiling. Keep those toes together and be careful not to lean backwards. So I want you to breathe out on the way there and breathe in on the way down. So you're opening up, exhaling, and then inhaling, coming down. So you keep this going, think about drawing baby towards you while you do this, and make sure that you have that little gap just under that waist there, so we're not leaning into the floor. So we're gonna do 10 of these. Excellent. Now think about lengthening through that waist and again. So if you need to, put that hand on that hip bone like I've done and that will just keep everything nice and still in and around that area. So give me two more. Lovely, give me one more time. Excellent. Now what I want you to do is send that leg out to the side, hold it there. Then I want you to imagine that that foot is being pulled out. It's lengthening through your waist. Tighten up through that pelvic floor muscle and then very slowly put the hand back down. I want you to bring that leg forward as if you're painting a fence with your toes being the paintbrush. So I want you to breathe out on the way there, stay lengthened and breathe in on the way back. Open up your hip and squeeze your bottom. You've got four more of these. Come back, go again. Lovely, give me two more. And give me one more. Brilliant, then come back down. Put those knees on top of each other and the ankles. Well done. Let's take a release before going to the other side. So come on to the knees, come on to the elbows. Open up those knees and do a lovely rock from side to side through the pelvis, through the hips. So again, nice rocking mo movement that would just give that little release through that pelvis area. Then once you've rocked, sit back and lower that chest down into that floor. Lengthen through the spine. And then come round and we'll do the same on the other side. So again, if you need the pillows to support your bump, bring them with you. We need a pillow for underneath the head. Take that arm down, relax that head down. Have that little natural hollow, have the knees stacked, have the ankles stacked, hand in front. 
Relax that shoulder down away from you. Open up that top knee, breathe out without rolling back, breathing in. Stay lifted away from that waist and stay very still on this hip. So if you need to hold the hip, hold it. Keep it going, got four more of these. So again, one aim to about 10 to 12 exercises and repeat them again. So we're just doing a little video clip, but you would work longer at this. So you'll do about 12 exercises of the clamshell, which is this exercise here. Hold it there, take that leg out, hand on the floor, stay lengthened all the way through. Paint the fence with your toes. Coming back, go again. So again, you want to do 10 to 12 of these. And then possibly you'd repeat it again for like a second set. Excellent. So as you go forward, draw baby in. As you go back, squeeze the bottom, activate the glutes. So breathing out and breathing in. So these are our nice single leg kicks. We've got two more to go. And you've got one more to go. Excellent, bring that leg back down, knee stacked, ankle stacked. And then again, like we did before, go onto the elbow and the knees, drop down onto the elbow, very gently, and then do that lovely little rock from side to side, releasing through the hip, through the pelvis, through the lower back. And then open into that nice V shape, extend back, hold it there, and then come around. Excellent, well done everyone. So if you've got any pelvic pain, then don't do those clamshells. You don't want to be opening and closing, that's going to aggravate that pelvic pain. So just stay with those legs in parallel and maybe just do a little lift up and a little lift down, very small. Or maybe just try the side kick. But if there's any pain in that pelvic area, then just stop straight away. Okay, I'll be back next week for another clip. And put some of my clips together, and that will make a whole class. Okay, bye for now.